Okay, so uh, it's your boy Kamal Hart, and we're back on the charts. Man, I had recorded an entire video bar by bar, drawing all my lines real time, and for whatever reason, it didn't record. Um, and that's pretty frustrating. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to keep the lines that I have on there, and I'm just going to explain the thought process of it. But uh, unfortunately, today, I, I don't have time to go back and redo everything and spend another 45 minutes explaining um, all the trades. So hopefully this is still just as helpful. But um, yeah, that's uh, that really that's kind of a bummer. So let's just jump right into it. When I when I showed up in the pre-market, uh, we're kind of, you know, it was a little it was a big bear leg. Uh, we're kind of trading in the middle of it right now. So even though this is definitely a bear trend, I kind of have um, just, it, it, it looks like a range to me uh, since we're trading inside and this bear trend. So like just real quick, yes, there are the highs up here and we're getting those touches, but off this low side, it's pretty obvious we, we broke out pretty hard. So Kind of expecting it when we when we get up here, maybe it won't respect this channel. And if it doesn't respect this channel, then that's for sure confirming that it's looking like a range. And you can see how choppy the price action is. So uh yeah. Okay. It's pretty much what I'm seeing here. We got that trend, we have the reversal pattern, closing above the EMA, making new swings high. See what we can get. Here's that, uh, it's like a first entry. It's the first break. What I did, this green line, all I really did was I just measured this first leg. Then once we started getting some buying, I, I brought that down. Uh, I wouldn't buy that though, because we're just going right into that EMA. It's only a first entry. And we made like swing lows. So I don't really like that for a trade. Now that we are above, we had a breakout move to a new high. Um, that's not really, it's getting risky to, to buy. So kind of, kind of chilling, waiting. I wanted to bought that. You can see how sideways we're going. It's probably not a good place to buy. Even though it works today in general, it's probably not it. Right here is an interesting thing. I see this trade as being very aggressive, but it's a second entry long. Uh, it triggers on the low side of our range, even if it's just by a few ticks. The problem is that we're so far from this EMA. This could easily tick above and fail, but looks like we have some strong buying going on. Um, I don't think it's a great trade, but I, I saw this and was thinking, you know, if you're going for only a point scalp, as long as you can exit before these highs, um, you might think about it. I personally probably would skip it, but it's there. Gets you a little bit. Depending on how you manage it, you're probably still in it with the runner. And now that we're up in here, I'm just waiting for more price action to kind of figure out what's going on. But you can see there's like a double top. It's now a triple top. Let's see if we fail. See, we failed. Look at that triple top. So uh, there's there's like a micro congestion zone. I know that's not perfectly straight. Let's get that thing straight. There's a micro congestion zone right there. And we can use the midline for the lows. You know, you could sell this, actually. It's a failed second entry. Uh, it's a failed second entry. Um, long you would just really need to be out by the ema and for sure by here and see once it starts going sideways get out get out and then, and then really get much follow through i would just jump out Kind of a uh, failed breakout, but it's still so sideways. I think the hardest thing today is that there isn't a lot of, 
it's just so choppy. So it's hard to it's hard to uh, to really find the direction of the market. And that's a rule of thumb, you know, if you're squinting your eyes and looking sideways and just searching, it's just probably not the best market. You know, it's okay to to walk away. I wouldn't stress it. It was a nice little leg, but I don't really see the trade there. This is a trade idea that I had that, um, you know, off this low side, second entry long, pretty decent um, signal bar. I think that's an okay trade. It doesn't go very far. And kind of like what happened over here, once we start going sideways, see this this bar inside of this bar, this bar inside of that bar. Once we start going sideways, I'm I'm definitely tightening my stop and trying to get out, break even plus one, break even plus two. I don't want to fool around if it's doing all this. That looks like something, but it's this isn't really anything. And then here, if we break above, that's going to be the uh, a second entry long off this high, first entry, second entry long. And then that's kind of nice because it's like it just went a little bit lower, came back up, got to some buying. You know, I would I would like buying that. Um, the reason why I didn't buy it though isn't really because of that red bar. It's because when we were waiting for the trade to trigger, we got another kind of matching doji. That's not great. So in this situation. I would wait for the higher higher low. I want to break above, come back, and then keep going. So that's kind of the break above. And you can see it, it ticked one tick below, then went higher. It's not a good signal bar. That's the only problem with this. Why I ended up not taking it is because the, the signal bar is like not that great. So but it goes, you know, and that's just it was really one of those days where um All the trades where you get some of the best moves is set up in really weird and bad spots. That doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does. So when it does, you just kind of have to keep your wit about you. Here's the uh, failed second entry long, but you're going long right where there was a bunch of resistance. So that's not going to be a good setup, even though we have this trend and truth Truth be told, you wouldn't have made this trend until this bar closed. Um, so I don't think that's a great setup. It it goes though, so but you don't want to be buying at the resistance. That's never a good idea. This this little um trend is holding. Uh, this little break above here is really nothing. Maybe like a breakout pullback or something, but it's not. It's nothing. What we do want to see, though, is we want to see a second entry long. So after we break lower, if we get a good signal bar, let's go ahead and buy that. Here's an OK signal bar. It's OK. It's, it's not great just because we're so sideways. But you might buy that. That one goes, but um, yeah, it's, it's okay. So if you, uh, you know, you get a little sell off there, two legs back, Um, here's the higher low or the lower high. I don't see anything in here, to be honest. I'm just waiting. That's what I'd be doing. I'd just be waiting. Finally get some, some moves higher, and it's like, we're kind of creeping higher, but that might not be that useful. Here's the lower high. This, to me, is a great setup or 
it would be a great setup, but it broke below. So that makes it kind of invalid. But uh, if this didn't break below, I, I would have just sold that for sure. You really get, you don't get, you get enough, but you don't get a lot of follow through. You get just enough, but you don't get much. I'm still kind of have a uh, short bias because we didn't, this is just the first break outside. If we close above this level, then I would start to look again for the longs. But until we close above here, I still have a short bias. And I want to short this, um, well, not, not really this, but just kind of like the first break. So let's see what happens. Here's the higher, uh, lower high, but that's a bad signal. Here is the trade that I took today. This is a failed second entry long off this high, first entry, second entry. So once we break below, I went short. Uh, my setup was a little better than it is now because now you're going short right into that EMA. But one thing to kind of keep in mind is that uh, we, we have this breakout trend pulled back. That's kind of like leg one. And if we break below and, and hold, that would be leg two. I like that trade. It's fairly easy. But once again, not a lot of follow through. So any of your runners are getting stopped out. And now we kind of have a, um, a trend going the other way. Now this, this little channel that I have drawn you probably just now would have created this channel because you had, oh my gosh, why does it keep doing that? I don't know why it keeps doing that. Um, you would have just had this channel right there. So that's the second touch, third touch. And then the way this bar shot off, it's a little late. So this channel doesn't really help you much, but it's there. That's the uh, failed second entry long, this green bar. But once again, that's not a good trade because it uh, you're going long right into the high. So I don't like that trade. And if you would have took it, you got stopped out only for it to go up a little higher, but not by much. You get some stuff up here, but it's just, uh, it's getting really difficult to read. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really worry about it. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it today because there's not much to trade. There, there are a lot of small things going on, but, you know, none of those small things really help you trade. If anything, there are reasons to stay out. You can see how this bar, inside of this bar, inside of this bar. So even though this is our lower high trade, you don't want to sell the breakout. And it doesn't even set up. It doesn't even break below or it doesn't even trigger. But if it breaks below here, that's the lower high, but that signal bar, it's not that great. And it goes, it's like a lot of these trades that just didn't have great setups on my chart. You know, I just now realized that this is technically a second entry long from this high even though you see this little swing, it never goes lower. So technically this is the swing. So that's the first entry, pullback, second entry. If you see it like that, you should you should buy that. If you see it like that, but I honestly did not see it like that in the moment. Uh, break above, you got the failed second entry, but nah, the, the uh, higher low, nah. It, I mean, they work, but you're you're buying into resistance. That's that sounds wild. If anything, you want to see it break out, come back a little bit, and then keep going. You want to buy that, but you don't you don't want to buy the breakout into resistance. That's not that's not a great idea. At this point, I'm almost like I'm kind of over this bigger. Uh, 
range because it's like we're having such a hard time going anywhere today. I probably would just bring this down. Probably bring this there. And then bring this one here. Probably just make mine a little lower. I'd probably just be working off something like this at this point because we're, we're not really going anywhere. And, you know, if you're actually trading this, like I keep saying, like, you can walk away. This I don't see nothing really worth it. Like, this was barely worth it, and it barely got what you needed, you know? So, it's no reason to force it. It's a little breakout trend, but we're not getting really any swings, so I don't... I can't really take anything in there. It's unfortunate, but I don't really see a trade I can take. I did miss a trade. Let's talk about that because that seems like a good idea. There's a second entry short right here. This is a good idea, but it's a little tough to take it in the moment. Off this low first entry. Oh, never mind. There was a break here. So no, that's not even that's not even a second entry short. So nah. Scratch that. It's one of those days. Um, they've happened a little bit more often this month. And when they do happen, it's usually in the summer. So don't get too discouraged if you're not finding your trades or feeling like the best trades don't have good setups. You know, if you come back on Monday, you'll probably find a good trade. If you come back on any normal sort of day, you'll probably find good trades, but today they're just not really there. So I wouldn't stress it. And I'm not gonna stress it. So we're gonna wrap it up there. I mean, and that's a great example of uh, just knowing yourself. Um, I think these were errors. I was trying to explain an idea in the last video. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no need to force yourself to trade a market that is doing all of this, you know, like there's, there's really nothing in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what the rest of it, the day kind of looked like. Once you started trending, I'm sure you could find a trade. Um, that's the failed second if that would have failed, but there was a sign that was going to fail. Could have bought that. Uh, this is a second entry long, but it doesn't look good. It's an inside bar. So just one of those days. I, it's not really worth going over every single bar. The main thing to take away, I think, from a day like today is knowing when to stop, knowing your limit, and knowing that you don't have to trade um, every day. You know, when I usually when I pull up to the market and I see it's doing this type of stuff, like it's doing in here, I'm good. I would have probably moved to maybe a different market, but for the context of this video, you know, I'm good. Just walk away. So hopefully uh, Monday we get some better price action, but for what it was today, it was, it was a little, a little lackluster for sure. So cool. All right. It's Kamal Hart. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and enjoy my weekend. But of course I'm gonna be back next week. I'm not sure exactly what day I'll do a video, but uh, I'll probably try to do a video on like a really good trending day or something. If we get one. And then I'll probably try to do another video if we get like a bad day so I can explain uh, in better detail what to look for on days you should be taking it easy. So because um, that's really the biggest thing in trading is that you, you'll probably do fine on the good days. But on a day like today, you'll be forcing it so much that you'll give up all your profits from the week or, or worse um, if you get emotional. So. Just recognize when it's not your market and let it be, let it go. There'll be more opportunities, I promise. Cool. So I'm out of here. Y'all take it easy.